American artist Andy Warhol is best known for his iconic images from popular culture. Like his Campbell's soup cans and portraits of famous people like movie star Marilyn Monroe and Chinese leader Mao Zedong. Although Warhol was everywhere in the media, he was a mystery to many. Now, two exhibits in Washington, D.C. are presenting a side of the artist that's less familiar. Molly Donovan curated the show at the National Gallery of Art. Forty percent of the works have never been on public view before, so it's a really fresh look at an artist like Warhol, who seems to be everywhere and we all seem to know, but um, there's still new information coming out about him and new works coming. Warhol Headlines at the National Gallery is the first exhibit to fully explore Warhol's obsession with headline news, especially tabloids which continued throughout his career. The exhibit features about 80 pieces, including his first canvas from the early 60s, titled A Boy from Meg. The headline refers to Princess Margaret, the late sister of Britain's Queen Elizabeth. Donovan says Warhol saw the media as a reflective surface, a mirror of himself and us. I think Warhol himself would like us to have a greater awareness of the media sources that we consume, that our information is coming at us from the news very deliberately as information that they know we will buy. And I think Warhol wanted to point our attention to our own role as consumers of the news. Andy Warhol Shadows at the Hirshhorn Museum nearby also features work that's less widely known. Warhol created Shadows in the last decade of his life. Here, all 102 silk-screened and hand-painted canvases are shown together for the first time, extending uninterrupted around the Hirshhorn's curved galleries. They featured distorted photographs of shadows generated in Warhol's studio. Evelyn Hankins is associate curator at the Hirshhorn, part of the Smithsonian complex. The shadows, I think, will surprise a lot of our visitors. Um, Warhol, of course, is best known for his use of mass media images, Im pictures from advertising or portraits of celebrities. And here we have a, a work that is 450 linear feet long and features only shadows and, in fact, their, their abstractions. And what's important about the shadows, aside from the, their monumental scale, is that they really represent Warhol beginning to engage abstraction for the rest of his career. Visitors may come up with their own interpretations. The Hirshhorn speculates that Warhol is mocking the abstract artist who came before him, but 20 years after, is turning to abstraction, but on his own terms. I can say that he was truly one of the most prescient and important artists of the 20th century. Even though he made it seem as though it was casual and playful and unintentional, it was all very calculated, and he was a prolific talent. Andy Warhol died in 1987 at the age of 58. While he may be gone, the images he created are still all around us. Julie Tabo, VOA News, Washington.